Hello and welcome to the new feature summary for March 2022. We'll begin with the first on the list. Uh, there is now a feature that enables you to automatically send questionnaires for scheduled appointments. This means that when the appointment notification email is sent out to a patient, of course automatically, you can also include a link to a specific questionnaire bundle. This will enable you to schedule an appointment and have specific questionnaires go out uh, with that notification email. So let's have a look at how that is set up. We'll begin by clicking on administration in the top menu bar. I would recommend you have a quick look at your questionnaire bundles first. Now it's important to note that many of you likely have questionnaires set up but are, are using them on a one by one basis. Meaning that when you go to uh, identify specific questionnaires for a specific patient, patient, you're choosing one, two, or three questionnaires and then sending via email or providing to the patient on a tablet. Questionnaire bundles, of course, group those together. So it enables you to take multiple questionnaires and put them into one. It's important to note that even if you only intend to send one questionnaire to a patient, you still need to build a bundle. That's what this feature is using to then build that link to send out with a notification email. So if you say, gosh, I just have a patient intake, adult patient intake is my only questionnaire, still create a questionnaire, or create a questionnaire bundle, um, call it adult patient intake, uh, and attach that one, um, that one questionnaire, okay? Point being is once you have your questionnaires in place, whether they include one or multiple questionnaires within them, you would then go to administration in the top menu bar and then select appointment types. Within the appointment types, you can go ahead and edit. Of course, you can create a new one here, but we'll look at an existing uh, appointment type. And then you'll go to the patient messages tab. This is where um, all the automation is really set up as far as you know what goes out to patients. Appointment notification, confirmation, reminders, cancellation. That's This is where it's all set up. There's a new area here called questionnaire bundle. And you can choose your questionnaire bundle, right? You'll see the same four we just saw a moment ago. So you choose the one that you wish, go ahead and click save. And there going forward, any new appointments you schedule for that specific appointment type, in the notif uh, appointment notification email, it will include a link to this questionnaire bundle. Okay, so automatic creates the questionnaire, builds it into the email, patient can click on it and complete those questionnaires. Okay, all right, let's move on to the next area here. Schedule view customization. This allows you to see um, specific provider groups. All right, so let's jump back to the schedule. Now, if you have uh, multiple providers, multiple providers, in this case, we're looking at week view for five providers, right? So it gets a little bit noisy. Um, and of course, we look at day view, you know, it makes it a little bit easier to see, but sometimes you want to see it in week view or other options. Uh, there's now a tool at the bottom of the screen where you can identify the specific providers or staff members, I should say, in general, that you wish to see on the schedule. Now, it's important, it, you need to have uh, it set to all clinic staff. You, of course, can zero in an individual, uh, but we'll leave this as all clinic staff. And at the very bottom of the screen, right next to where it says additional if you display additional clinics, that's where you can overlay your schedule if you have multiple locations. There's a tool for display specific users. And in this case, um, I've gone ahead and selected uh, Dr. Simpson and Dr. Rogers to display. And now we'll see instead of all five providers showing, we are seeing the two. Okay? And then, of course, you can change that around. And this may be something that you change on the fly, or maybe you have kind of a, a standard set where you turn this on and off, and then when you need to isolate the individual providers, you can do so. Okay, So once again, this would be for viewing uh, more than one provider, but less than the total you know, all staff option. Okay, Let's move on to the fee schedule. Now, Counselor has built a fee schedule feature. This means you can create distinct pricing for specific payers. For example, third-party administered plans, managed care, Medicaid, etc. Okay, this is a very powerful feature. So powerful that we actually created a tutorial video specifically about it for you to view if you wish to use this. If you are currently using your pricing fine, you don't have any concerns, you may not have any need for this feature. If you work with insurance plans and you know your specific pricing and you'd like to have that in place so that way when you create your super bills, it will automatically insert the proper pricing, then this is a great tool for you. Okay, so I'd encourage you to watch the overview video and follow up with our support team with any questions. All right, uh, there are some new options here for search results. Um, so within the patient search results, you can uh, select specific columns. So you could say, all right, let's do a quick search here. And 
and okay, there are my search results. Now I want to customize this, okay? And you can decide from all the different lists of columns, different options, options on columns, which ones you wish to, wish to see and in which order. So if I said, for example, okay, I want to see any alerts that are in this patient's profile, and I want that to, let's move that up here, uh, maybe pretty high on the list, let's put it after the last name, for example, okay? And you could do that, of course, with many different options and remove ones if you wish. When I click Save, what it'll do is updates the schedule. Now we can see there's a column here for, uh, for the patient alerts, okay? And then you can change that around. Now that, uh, what you just did, will be remembered for next time you do a search. So you don't have to do this each time. Although if there is an instance where you have a custom search, then you probably want to set it back the way it was. Okay. Uh, within the patient search, when we go to the uh, search patient feature, there's also the ability now to search by active prospect or an active disease. Before you could only search on one at a time, but now they are grouped. Okay. We move on to the patient visit search. We're going to see the same idea with the column. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick search here, just in a short uh, time range. And there's also that same tool we saw within the patient search for the customized columns. So you can use that here in the patient visit activity search as well. All right, uh, moving on, we talk about the schedule again. There's, new, uh, there's a new option available uh, for companion, uh, and that is uh, you can select interpreter as an option. Um, as you likely know, you can also choose the companion within the chart notes area of the screen. It's the same tool. If you set this in the chart notes, it's the same thing as setting it in the schedule. Uh, we look at the dashboard. There are two new widgets, uh, one for opportunity conf uh, the Opportunity Confirmation Summary widget and the Opportunity Visits Test Not Treated widget. So let's have a quick look at those. We'll jump to the dashboard here. Let's look at appointments. So here is the Appointments Confirmation Summary. Now this is a test account. So the numbers are not great, but this does allow you to see all the appointments that were confirmed via different methods uh, as well as manual and what the no-show percentage was off of those. So just a quick tool for letting you see that information. We talk about the opportunities, test not treated. Uh, this is a new widget here where you can see, um, you know, for a specific time period, who are the test not treated patients, okay? And then you can, um, you can filter down more from there if there's tags or things you wanna look for uh, beyond that, okay? Um, all right, so if you have any questions, of course, about any of these changes to Hanson's, please let us know. Give us a call, email us, live chat us. We are always happy to help. Thank you very much for joining us for the new feature summary for March 2022.